Birmingham Bloomfield Art Center is welcoming renowned chef turned painter Roscoe Hall. And the exhibit kicks off today and it runs through April, but this weekend features something very special. Roscoe Hall is going to join us and actually join guests for this weekend's opening reception. You will be there in person. And you're going to talk about all of your works in depth, but first, we're glad to have you here with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. It means a lot. So well, tell us a little bit about what this all entails with, with greeting these special guests. Um, so I'm a figurative artist, um, self-taught basically, went to art school, but the work I'm showing at the Bloomfield Art Center, shout out to Bloomfield Art Center, thanks for having me, is about regionality of the Alabama Black Belt. And what I do is, I'm a chef still, so I dehydrate local vegetables from that region and make my own paint pigments out of it. That's to incredible. Tell a deep story. Yes. Yeah. So the inspiration you you get. Tell us about then what goes into creating something like this. Well, I think about. I do a lot of research and meet a lot of people, especially throughout the black belt. And I think, as an artist, I think it's really important to put a time stamp on your work, mm -hmm. especially these times, and put a time stamp of your region. So I really want to educate people on what contemporary Alabama looks like? I mean, we've got to go back to this. You dehydrating <laughs> vegetable. How does this work? I mean, give us a simplified version of, of how you do that. In nice kitchens, we dehydrate a lot of things and make fruit leathers and powders. So eventually I brought that into the fold and started making my own acrylics and now my own oil paintings. I burn my own oak charcoal because I used to be a barbecue pit master. Mm -hmm. And I make my own charcoal out of that. I'm trying to time both in. I was going to say what a combination of the culinary and the art world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you yeah. find it gives you like a richer palette, a richer uh, print or something does. than just buying it? It definitely, definitely does. Mm -hmm. um, I still have to mix it with certain paints, but I'm working on actually getting it like put out in the world. Nice. Uh -huh. and, and so we mentioned you're working with the Birmingham Bloomfield Arts yes. Center and this is a very special event. Tell folks what this is all about. This is a uh, long term coming. Like, we've been in contact for about three years since I was on Top Chef. Um, it was a unique, like, connection that we made happen. I built a body of work just to really engage. I've finally given in to actually living in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to show that. <laughs> so, so there was some resistance to actually living in Alabama? Well, I'm from Chicago. Okay, and then you moved down there. From, uh, Alabama, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So talk about that transition. I mean, not transition, you're still a chef, but you know, the uh -huh. chef and the artist, were you always creative on the artistic side of things and you yes. just kind of got into the culinary side of things? Yes, culinary arts paid for art school. And I used to paint to calm down from the kitchens. Most people go party, but I would yeah. go home and paint. Um, Discipline. And eventually, it just took off in a major way in the past two years. And I gave up the kitchen. Oh, I didn't give up the kitchen. I'm still a private chef. I cook for a lot of people, teach fermentation classes. I do a lot of weird stuff. Um. <laughs> <laughs> fermentation, yeah. drying air, drying yeah. the vegetables. Yeah, you got a whole host yeah. of things. So you brought these beautiful pieces with you to here today. Give us a little bit more about the inspiration behind them. Inspiration behind this is called uh, No It Ain't. And it's basically about a farmer in the Alabama, Alabama Black Belt, Uniontown, Alabama. He actually Karata Scott's King's um, family's farm. There's a particular sweet potato that I've been dehydrating for, or cooking with for years, and I started dehydrating it, and you see the orange tints and the red tints that all comes from that farm, and this is the guy I talked to who recently lost his farm to a catfish pond. Hmm. Yeah. And what about this one here? Kitchen in Demopolis. Demopolis, Alabama is a very rural area, no offense to Demopolis. Um, <laughs> it, is, it has the look of what we know of you know, rural south still in 2024. So it's kind of like, I'm giving a shout out to my contemporaries in the sense I want people to know that people still live like this. Uh, yeah. In many parts of the country, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So talk about if people want to come and see your art, where they can do it, uh, can mm -hmm. they have a chat with you as well? Tell us about the whole oh, event. Tonight, the opening's at five to seven at the Bloomfield Art Center. I'll be there smiling. Have an artist talk tomorrow morning as well. I'll be there smiling and laughing and highly caffeinated. Um, uh, yeah, I'll give you the whole rundown. I have a very interesting life. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Sounds We've fantastic. just touched on a yeah. little bit this morning. That's right. A smiling, laughing Roscoe. That's what everyone wants. <laughs> Look, you're getting a little preview right now. Hey, thanks a lot for dropping by this Thank morning and bringing so this much. artwork. Thank really you so much. Thanks, Roscoe. We appreciate yes. it.